Perhaps the most memorable single object amongst all the treasures at Osborne is the portrait of Maharaja Duleep Singh as a 15-year-old boy uh, commissioned by Queen Victoria. The picture belongs to her descendants. It's on loan from the, the royal family. And uh, it was really his arrival uh, in, in England at Buckingham Palace that uh, really brought alive Queen, for Queen Victoria the, the, the whole romance of India. And although he never saw the Durbar Room, uh, I think in some ways the, the whole con concept is an attempt to embody the sort of magic that he lived and breathed. And you can see in that portrait, once they dressed him up in his traditional clothes, uh, that he, he represented so much more. He, he embodied this new uh, fascination, this new fashion for all things Indian. Not only uh, Maharaja Duleep Singh, of course, but Abdul Karim, uh, who was uh, just, just one of the manservants that Queen Victoria assembled around her from, from India, the Kit Magars, as they were called, and they were at Windsor as well as at Osborne, and they had their special uniform designed for them. They, they waited at table, but he had something extra, to, so special, uh, and uh, started to teach her Urdu, uh, and so she could speak it to him, which created great problems for the court courtiers because they didn't know what they were talking about, and she was having a private conversation with a, a manservant, which was very worrying, and she had her own diary in, in Urdu, she could write it, and so he became the teacher, the munshi, she called him for short, and a great favourite. Uh, they had sort of curry for lunch and things, you have to imagine the smells at the Turpa room as well. Uh, so she was, she got into it thoroughly. Um, I don't think he had any role in the design directly, but, uh, but like Maharaja Duleep Singh, I think he, he, he managed to convey and conjure up and constantly remind her of, of this amazing unknown continent and all its riches.